Onward. We're gonna have a fight over here. There's recruits. Walking into a town square, you never know when uh when an event is just gonna happen on you. Any of you see me, Moy? Was bound here for my confer. Supposed to have arrived three days past. Finding Nimoy. Any of you see Nimoy? Disney Pixar's Finding Nimoy. Yeah, I basically just repeated that joke. Alright. <laughs> I don't know why I said it twice. I guess I was clarifying. Your Majesty, a traveling merchant has humbly invited you to browse his wares. He wishes to be rid of his stock as soon as possible. He is prepared to offer a sizable discount. Ooh. So spend wood for gold or wood or gold for wood. That's a strong ratio. I don't have a great sense of how much is good or not. His rates... Wait, am I looking at this right? His rates seem weird, right? Like, he'll, he'll give you 750 gold for 200 wood. But if you, but if you give him 500 gold, he'll give you 400 wood. Like... I don't think that it economically works out for him, like in sort of any like no matter what the values are in either direction. There's some sort of contradiction happening there, right? Uh, it'd be nice if I had a conversion rate in my head of some sort to tell me how good gold is or wood are versus each other, to, as like what the ratios tend to be. I'm gonna hold off because thankfully you can always just come back forever. Let's see what's the next upgrade. Maybe that'll inform what I want to do here. Because everything, yeah, everything does tend to require more gold than wood, and I do seem to have more wood than gold, so maybe I should trade that way. But I might just quickly find myself with way more gold than I know what to deal with shortly thereafter, is the worry. Eh, let's risk it. So, 200, yeah, that's not a lot of wood for a lot of gold. That made something light up. In the workshop. Oh, you. It's always you. I wish I could blacklist that upgrade and make it shut up. <laughs> like, I'm never going to buy that unless I literally run out of things to buy. Just because it doesn't affect the actual gameplay. When moving faster would be nice, but I'm not going to permanently set back my overall progression there. My, my moral decisions already do that for me. Ravens and beasts. Tucked a bushel of grain away in my shack. But I'm too fearful to return there. You suppose they've gone? Ravens are always trailing armies. Ravens and beasts. Ravens and beasts. I inherently thought a raven referred to a gang of brigands. But he just means actual ravens. I'm thinking of Banner Saka, I think. Yeah, that's where that's where the, the group is called the Ravens. And they would trail. The Lyrians arrived at an ancient, half-desiccated beach. Its trunk sat atop a tangle of thick roots, and scraps of paper covered with tiny scribblings fluttered over it from top to bottom. Travelers crowded all around. Barefoot refugees, bony pilgrims, peddlers with armored escorts, and shifty-eyed men with the haggard look of deserters. The Wayfarer's Beach, Rayla said. Travelers of all sorts swap tales here. Perhaps we can glean something about our enemy's movements. Or paint the enemy a clear picture of our own. Gascon interrupted. Nilfgaardian spies no doubt flock to this tree like flies to particularly pungent dung. Huh. I feel, it always feels like spies are so effective that they're just going to have that information regardless. That said, we are on the run right now. Why don't we send a scout? Hell, why don't we send Gascon to take a look? Like... Yeah, why don't- why don't we just have Gascon, who's experienced in this stuff, 
go in and find out whatever information he can. I, would people recognize him here? I'm gonna send a scout. Neve decided to proceed cautiously. She pitched camp in a nearby clearing and sent a scout dressed as a peddler to investigate the Wayfarer's Beach. Yet long hours passed with no sign of the soldier. Gods be damned! The Queen snarled. Reynard, send some men to follow his tracks. Okay, well, we're quickly changing our mind here. Uh, I, I feel like I had a better idea than the Queen did. Like, yeah, send a scout. And by scout, I mean Gascon. The guy who's good at this. The Lyrians found the scout's body in the woods a few leagues from the Wayfarer's Beach. His corpse revealed clear signs of drawn out, cruel torture. Neve could only hope he had managed to hold something back from his captors. Welp. So the answer is yes, the Nilf Guardians are here, I suppose. You'd folk in Crumpon a trader with the Squirter. By day, for all to see. Lord Falberson trots about on an imperial leash already. War's lost. Plain to see. You'd folk in Crumpon. That's actually a good example of what I often bring up when I talk about un uh, unexpected consequences of a choice. Is that like that's a good example of that done well? Is like I wasn't I knew I knew what was at stake more or less, or at least I knew the situation ish. But there was an unexpected consequence that was not explicitly stated as part of the choice, but it was one that you would reasonably think of as the scout being intercept the scout being intercepted and tortured for information is like completely an in universe thing that makes sense, and not, it's not like a gotcha moment. You suppose they've gone. So I potentially, and I, I was I was thinking this while I was choosing it. I'm like, there's you usually get two extremes and then a middle ground that sounds like the safe option, but it's often the most damning and most unhelpful option. And then as I was thinking that, I chose it, and then I, it was basically that, because it could have been that we collectively, just by existing, were giving off information about our whereabouts. But in this case, the scout went off and uh, was able to be single-handedly isolated and tortured for information. Soon after entering Edern, Meave ordered a halt. She wished to sit with Black Rayler and plan their onward march, for Rayler knew every path in the realm, including ones not drawn on any map. The they were hard at work when shouts rang out among the tents. The implication is that the scout likely gave up more information about us than we would have ever given up by going there ourselves, basically. But... Maybe not, or at least uh, the fear of giving up our whereabouts and our movements might have been kind of pointless if they were able to intercept our scout immediately, because that means they probably already know where we are. One final time, I shall say it. As your senior officer, I order you to depart the training grounds. Or, or what, Bray Tell? You'll have me drop and give you 50? What is the meaning of this? Your Grace. I had thought to use this interval to drill the recruits, teach them to walk, to maneuver, Gaston. A world of difference. In perfect harmony must soldiers traverse the field of battle. Otherwise, they could break formation. The enemy would penetrate our lines and our army could be slaughtered. And therein lies the rub, dear Reynard. Army. This is no army, but a band of partisans. If we do not adapt to the rules of desperation, if we adhere instead to the Academy Codex, we shall lose. Laying traps, wiping tracks, that's what we should teach the lads. Not marching to the beat. Oh my eye! A fighting force must have discipline. Otherwise, tactics and planning are impossible. A soldier must obey orders. They're both true. They need to have discipline, they need to obey orders, the army needs to be to be cohesive, but also we need to adopt guerrilla tactics and learn how to function as a smaller force. They're both true, and acting like they're in conflict when they're kind of not. Both of them need to calm down. A point on which we all agree. And since they are mine to give, I order you both to calm yourselves at once, and never air your squabbles in front of the men again. Our resources are limited. We cannot do everything at once. Prepare your proposed plans for training the recruits, and I shall decide which we shall follow. 
Clear? Then get to work. There we go. Give me your battle plan. I'm pro it's probably gonna affect my deck, right? Like I'm gonna get to specialize in one or the other or something? Oh, that's one of these guys. I like the idea of branching paths that affect the mechanical cohesion of my units and whatnot and, and how battles are going to play out for the future based on that. <clears throat> oh, out of range. There we go. You just lit up again. What have I had gained access to this time? There's the pitfall trap. I do like that. Ah, uh, damage everyone in that row. And then every time they move, damage them again. Anyway, every time anyone moves into that row. That was a, that's a strong thing to have access to. Looks like it's weaker. I think the one I got from that bronze effect was three, wasn't it? So that must have been the plus version. Or some of these are like engines to help me build more stuff in the future. Huh. That's, there's a, I'm, I'm pulled in a lot of directions that are all tempting. I think I'm gonna go for this though. So now I can, no, now I can now train my own pitfall trap, field medic, and Lyrian pathfinder. But I can't afford them right now unless they gave me a free one. Yeah, there's the medic. There's the pitfall trap. Oh! It's only 23 gold. Neat. It's expensive, though. It's 12 points to even equip. Oh, I have it, though. We have plenty of space because of the discount I, I achieved before. Illyrian Pathfinder. Yeah, that's more gold and less wood. Gonna need a lot more, though. I'm down to basically no resources now. Yeah, I do like the idea of a, of a card that draws more cards. <clears throat> Especially since it's also a base card I could use to boost with the Alchemist. You kind of need some of those. Proclamation. Inhabitants of Broomfell are hereby ordered to vacate the village by nightfall. Failure to comply will result in punishment of the highest order. Hail Kurzer, Duke Ardal, Grand Chancellor, Commander of Army of the Bleh. That guy's name is as annoying as he is as the as the villain. Do I have room for what I want? Where is it? Oh, the crushing trap's already in my deck. We're fine. I just didn't happen to draw any of that game. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I, I, I thought I might have removed it because it might have been expensive. Did our oats not suit the Emperor? However, did our oats and other plantings harm him? Blackclads brought them monsters here, I'm sure of it. Your Majesty, I beg ye, let me join your ranks. Nothing but hunger and death await me here. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then he poofed out of existence like Sheik. Directly into my inventory. All right, monsters, show me what you've got. Puzzle fight. All right. Amidst the rubble, the people of a of Aedirn led prosperous lives, a fact that was reflected in the quality of their homes, ceramic stoves, hard oak floors, exotic Zarkanian tapestries. Yet now, all lies in ruin and monsters have supplanted the former tenants. All right, pretty standard puzzle scenario. Is there ever a multi-round puzzle fight? Like, I feel like puzzle, special rules, shortened battle, custom deck is all redundant. 
I'm, I'm, I could be wrong, but I think literally every single puzzle encounter is that. Like at some point you might as well just explain what a puzzle encounter is and then just leave that as the standard description because custom decks, shortened battle, and special rules as far as I can tell are, are true every time. And that's in addition to it being labeled as a puzzle encounter when I walk in, in the first place, and on the map. Eliminate all foes. Alright, standard. So do this in one round. What's this guy? The Rivian Sapper. Damage unit by two. If it was destroyed, repeat this ability. So this is the one where I want to try to create a chain reaction. And destroy them all in one turn. Destroy the highest units. That's all I have? Okay. Every two turns, on turn start, consume the top unit from your graveyard. That's, uh, not good. Consume the unit on the right and boost self by an additional three power. Uh, let's deploy. Okay, so that's a deploy ability, so it's not going... I thought he was going to chain his way through him, but no, that's a, that's a deploy ability, so it's already happened. Wait, what's he... That's the countdown of two. What does that countdown mean? Does it mean he's going to do it in two turns anyway? That's not what that says. That's every two turns. What's his graveyard? It's all one guy. The Geso Footman. On round start, appear on the battlefield after four turns, and turn start, duel the lowest enemy. It's just a spiteful little shit, isn't he? Left, right, left, right. So you're gonna consume that guy for three power. Consume the top unit in your graveyard, okay. Hmm. That'll take you to ten. As far as I can tell, the puzzle here because these guys only damage people by two. They can create a chain reaction if they if the guy's dead already, but that's it. Uh, this is my only chance of winning, is destroy the highest value units. So the puzzle here is to make these two the same power, and then destroy them at the same time. Which gets... mathy. Especially since I have somewhat undescribed unexplained mechanics here where they have numbers on them in, in, implicating that they're gonna do that stuff but they don't have this they don't have order abilities so it's confusing all right well let's attack a dude don't you worry yourself you yeah, it's a relatively sh short encounter so I should be able to sort of trial and error it a little bit and figure it out that way. Boost self by an additional three power. In the oh, dead. I've probably already messed it up, huh? You're gonna gain three, but he's already gained... He's already leading by five. I don't think there's a way to... Ah, they're tied. There we go. We're fine. Got it. Alright. I basically... I was able to understand the mechanics, but I kind of just... blindly stumbled into the solution. <laughs> Inhabitants of Lapisfeld. As you know, Adern has been betrayed. Our forces, taken by surprise, now face severe shortages. I urge all whom are able to support the war effort with a donation. Valkmir, son of Zenek, has been authorized to supervise the collection. Donations must be brought to his mill before the end of the week. From there, they shall be delivered to the soldiers in need at Roseburg. Fortress. Mayor Godzimir. Oh, I see you. 
way the hell back there too. Can I go through this building? I can. Sneakily hiding over here in the background with your grand riches. Oh, Black Rila. One for the main game. They didn't cut those palisades the same height at all. Every single log that makes up that fence is just a different height. Like by a... sometimes by a factor of two. That's like well beyond margin of error. Oop. Don't miss that. What's this? Your Grace, Meave heard Raynard call out from behind her. A scout's returned. Claims to bear an urgent message. The Queen halted her horse and waited for the soldier to reach her. He abandoned all formalities and jumped straight to the point. Milady, a blood-clad caravan armed to the hilt rides this way. To believe the rumors, they're hauling a lord of war loot back south. Raynard gave the soldier new orders, then turned to Meave. Hmm. Sounds like a prime opportunity to replenish our coffers. Indeed. An opportunity we cannot ignore, the Queen said. Your unit will block their path. Gascon and his men will hide in the woods and strike their flanks, while I shut the trap, attacking from behind. Their plan established, Meave gave the signal to move out. A brief moment later, the fight began. There very well may be a background punishment here, which is that I attacked, which is revealing ourselves. And so there may be more consequences down the line, where, like, I assume that if I win, I get what I want, but if, uh... If I, uh... Hadn't done this, maybe I would have been more more secret in the future. Imperial Transport. Upon realizing they could not avoid a fight, the Nilfgaardians stopped their wagons. Not all of them, however, took to defensive formations. One soldier remained with each cart. They stood with backs to the attackers. Their eyes trained on the cargo. What mystery is hid in these wagons? What treasures so precious to abandon self-defense in the midst of battle? They kept facing the cargo and turning their backs on us. Hint, expose the trap. Yeah, I'm guessing what if we whatever it's going on with their cargo is doing something messed up. Shortened battle, so it's one round. We'll see what form this takes. All right. What do you have here? That's a big hand. Gascon's ambush. Trigger an ambush when you move a caravan next to this card. Await my signal. Just a bit more. Aye, that's it. A little closer now. So if I get the caravan there, an ambush will happen. That's the caravan. Whenever this unit takes damage, move it one position to the right. Death wish Maeve loses the battle. So I need to move this left to right without damaging it. Well, all the way. Uh, why anything could be in there? Yeah. All right. Caravan escort. They cannot be moved. They're fifteen and ten. Black clads are eyeing that wagon closer than a sot eyes a harlot. That's a lot. That's 75 health worth of stuff. But if I damage you, you move right. That's the way to go, is to try to get him to go through them, probably, because damaging them all seems unreasonable. I don't really know what the, what the, the ambush actually means yet, though. Let's see. I don't have an objective I can see? No. Well, the objective is just to win the fight. Like, numerically, right? Let's see. I've already got this guy in my hand. Damage all units in this row. I can place that in the other row, potentially. That might still be worth it in the bottom row. The top row, bad things will happen. Do the things I don't want bad things to happen to. Uh, crashing trap.
I don't think I'm gonna want since the one this is better for multi-round matches because then I have a graveyard from previous rounds but this doesn't have multiple rounds so I'm just gonna be hobbling myself by damaging my best my best card because it has to be late in the game when there's something to, to draw from the graveyard an infiltrator not bad might go away from the medic yeah go forward in my deck instead of backwards I think I just have some things that are more interesting than a Scytheman to draw. Maybe you. I would like to draw my other heroes. Another Infiltrator. Tempting. We must Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, I went in a circle right back to the first card. Alright. I see how it is. I see how it is. Yeah, hint, expose the trap. I'm just gonna plop you down right away. Have fun with that. Just actively ruining you. So my only lose condition... Well, I have to win the round, obviously, but otherwise my lose condition is... If I... Destroy that wagon. So, I don't have to worry about a time limit of any kind besides the normal round stuff. This guy. Ooh, he's gonna keep shooting every time somebody arrives. Uh, I can do this to attack him. It won't actually kill him. Might still be worth it. And move him to the right. That's the beginning of that. Okay. Whenever you take damage, this is a really low damage thing. Damaging people by three? Yeah. That actually makes some progress if it worked. Or I could just double, just double up on this row, making it devastating. Yeah, I'm just gonna scorch earth this whole damn row. You mad? Don't say that. It's on fire and it's a spike trap, and that's half their arena. That should make it easier for me to win long term. I really wish I had Gascon, so this was more worthwhile when I moved around. There goes that guy. No more, no more of him attacking me every turn. Never mind, he's back. God damn it! Because of course he is. Uh. Hmm. Let's boost me by that guy's stuff. There we go. That'll help me catch up on... That'll help me catch up on the total. Next time an enemy uses its order ability, boosts off by two and gain two art. This dude. Yeah, I'd like to kill you next if I can. He's frustrating. Let's do elf and onion soup. The war wagon. This is useless to me, because it doesn't have other ones for me to use. More spying. Hmm. Combined power of adjacent units. Oh. 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 That's a scary card. Yeah, let's see you keep up with these numbers. The RNG factor is pretty hard for that card, isn't it? The one, the one where it's like, yeah, just draw three random things and then pick your favorite one. It's like that. At least some really massively different outcomes. So I want to play Odo after Drummer, so I can draw an additional card using Drummer. Set a unit's power equal to the unit on its left. That guy's about to go down. Oh, let's bear him. 
There we go. You getting scared yet, guys? How about now, when somebody gets set to that power, or that power, or that power? God damn, I only have three units and they're 22, 19, and 34. 18, 19, 16, 19, and 34. Wow, they, they focused on that guy, huh? All right. Unfortunately, I need I do need more ways to attack the caravan, and uh, I'm not really set up for that, and that's a problem. And I really should have used Maeve's ability on the caravan. No, I did. I should have uh, did the other thing. I should have put the fire up there. Yeah. I wasn't really thinking about how desperately I needed any damage sources and how restricted I am on having them in general. It's weird playing a deck with no Arbalus, but I'm trying to embrace the differences for a bit. Those guys are all going to get stronger at the same time, but I can do this. Oh, right, that's an order. I forgot. I always forget that you count as an order. I don't think you've used part of the game the same way. Still, one step closer. If I'm lucky, you'll draw something that can attack, or you'll draw that guy, I guess. Thanks. I guess I should have waited a moment earlier to use the other ability. This office will be reaping black clad heads. If anyone asks, you've not seen me. Well, I'm gonna win numerically, so I guess it doesn't matter. Like, damn. <laughs> Grace. Him being able to be the power of those two guys and then me being able to duplicate that power onto another unit is terrifying. He's thinking. Strengthen all copies of this unit. Yeah, it's that guy. Okay. Yeah, we'll see if he can keep up with this. I'm just unfortunately lacking on ways to attack. I wasn't thinking enough about that problem. Why the bear? Why always the bear? I'm surprised they're focus firing so heavily in one unit. I just does that fe does that feature a tactical purpose for them? Man, that that pitfall trap's so much better if I have something that actually get, takes advantage of it, which I don't. And we don't have enough turns for the crushing trap to matter. Averaging out their power is supposed to work with that guy. That hurt her ability, but I don't have access to that right now. <clears throat> and the only thing I'm regenerating right now is this ability, right? Yeah. We must trust each other. I hope whatever I draw can attack. Like, come on, just draw one of those dog guys. I have- I have attacking cards in this deck, damn it. No! How are you only drawing that guy? Every time. Uh, I'm closer to being in trouble than I'd like to be. This doesn't count as an attack, right? I did it. What? No! Oh! I technically boosted his attack, and it counted as an attack anyway. That's, I didn't see that coming. After two turns, boost this unit by the combined power of adjacent units. So he did what I did, basically. But they're next to each other, so they suck. They're not. They're gonna be less strong, basically. All right. Well, I'm already winning, so it's not that big of a deal. So that's what the reveal was, huh? All right. But I get these guys. Make marking at every turn and attack. Oh yeah. All oh, right. We're not ready yet.
Meanwhile, me attacking them will be pointless. All right. Well, I win. Shoot that guy, I guess. He has no armor. That's more or less the goal. Oh, they're getting stronger. Hey, Gascon. Whenever an enemy or ally is moved. Yeah, unfortunately, no one's really been moving. And I can't move that guy because they're... Yeah. I don't know why I'm focus firing that guy specifically, but sure. I can attack the 12s, which would be, which would be a successful multi-target, but they're armored, so it's pointless. 2, 7, 13, 9, 8, 7, 8. There's two 8s. There's two 7s. But, uh, 8's too armored, so 7's the better goal. Because at least it would attack through them. That would be attacking for 4 and 2 damage. Then they would gain 6. So it would be a net 0. <laughs> It'll be a net 0, except these guys will all get stronger. Okay, so yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it's a plus... It's a net zero on their end, but it's a plus... Uh, not counting armor. It's a gain of six armor otherwise. But it's a net zero on their end, but I get 15 power. So definitely worth it. I don't know why I'm over-calculating when I'm clearly going to win. Especially since the fire's burning them every turn that this game, that I can prolong this match. Alright. I was already winning. It's kind of funny that I was already winning, but then I was like, oh, the, let's do if I, see if I can do the ambush, and then it made me win even harder. Uh, that was unexpected. That was unexpected. Using the spike trap counted as attacking that card, so it went, it went over to the right one. Even though I made it stronger and did no damage. Weird. Their plan ended in success. The Nilfgaardians crushed. As soon as the dust had settled, Neve tore the canvas off the nearby wagons to see what precious loot they had so carefully guarded. She expected to find gold, jewels, or exquisite silks. Instead, she saw dirty, terrified figures bound in chains. Slaves, Raynard muttered. Their precious cargo. Slaves. Behold the glorious future the Empire brings us. Meave ordered the prisoners freed and discovered they were Adernian peasants on their way to dig canals and dredge swamps as forced laborers. You are free. You can return to your homes, the queen said. If she expected words of thanks and gratitude, she was in for a disappointment. What homes, my lady? asked one of the peasants, holding back tears. Took our land, they did. Nothing we have now. Not a rug to wear, not a crumb to eat. Leave us, we die. Soldiers don't do us in, monsters will. Us human hunger and cold don't get us first. The queen was about to answer when she heard Gascon, standing behind her, whisper, Before you make any rash promises, please, some maths. Dozens of hungry mouths to feed, and weak bodies to defend, twice as many tired legs to wait for, while war rages all around. You do realize... You cannot save everyone. Time to disappoint you, Gascon. I attacked this caravan hoping to fill my coffers, the Queen said. Instead, I have only secured a new drain upon them. But, very well. In these ill times, we northerners must help our own. Women and children in the wagons. The men shall march alongside to the rear. I warn you, if you cannot keep pace, we shall leave you by the roadside. Move out! The Queen's gaze momentarily caught the eyes of an old woman her soldiers were helping onto a wagon. Tears of gratitude poured down her soot-stained face across hard lines left by years of destructive toil. Neve was convinced she had done the right thing. Well, yeah, if you're fighting just for the crown and not for the people at all, then this, the whole thing's kind of pointless. Also... Coffers. 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 <laughs> They're everywhere. So much coffers. Not that much coffers, but still. The Guardian letter. Translated from Senior Censor Berwin Ape Klenage. 
or two that from Sergeant Dillwyn and Larry. As ordered, I have acquired 30 live Nordlings. That's just distressing to say out loud. Ardernian province, breakdown as follows, 13 males, 7 females, 5 elders, 5 children. Suitability of elders for labor will be determined at camp. If verdict is negative, they shall be removed from the convoy. Long live the Emperor. What a great people. Man, Siri, your dad's great and not a monster or anything. Really unfortunate that that's the familial relationship there. Uh, 